Ettore Majorana was a brilliant and young Italian physicist who made significant contributions to the understanding of neutrinos and quantum mechanics. At 31 years old, he disappeared the same day he was set to board a ship from Palermo, Italy to Naples. He left behind a trail of clues that only led to more questions. There is no concrete proof as to whether he set foot on the ship or not, and no one knows exactly how or when he went missing. Today we will look at the theory surrounding the disappearance and explore what may have actually happened. Majorana was born in Catania, Italy in 1906. He was a child prodigy and showed an early aptitude for mathematics. He entered the University of Rome at the age of 16. Initially, he studied engineering, however later changed his mind and began conducting research under the mentorship of Enrico Fermi, who was a prominent physicist. Majorana published his first research paper in 1928 at 22 years old and graduated with a master's degree equivalent in physics in 1929. He continued his research under Fermi's mentorship and at 27 received his doctorate in theoretical physics. After graduating, Fermi urged Ettore to leave Italy on a grant from the National Research Council. He agreed and went to Germany where he met Werner Heisenberg, one of the founders of quantum mechanics. Majorana and Heisenberg became close friends, and Majorana was deeply influenced by Heisenberg's work. The Nazis had come to power in Germany shortly before Majorana's arrival, and the political situation was increasingly unstable. Despite the political climate, Ettore was able to focus on his research, and he published a paper on the theory of the nucleus in 1933. Ettore also traveled to Copenhagen that year, where he worked with Niels Bohr, another Nobel Prize winner in physics. Bohr was a leading figure in the development of quantum mechanics, and Majorana was able to learn a great deal from him. Ettore published approximately nine research papers over his life, and in 1937, he published his last paper, titled On the Symmetry of the Theory of Electrons and Protons, at the age of 30. Majorana's paper was highly original and groundbreaking, and it had a major impact on the development of physics. It's considered one of the most important papers in the field of quantum mechanics, he became a leading figure in theoretical physics and was offered a position as a full professor at the University of Naples in 1938. He would disappear soon after. Leading up to his disappearance, Majorana became increasingly withdrawn and isolated. He became concerned about the political situation in Italy, which was ruled by the fascist dictator Mussolini. On March 25, 1938, Majorana left his home in Rome and withdrew all of his money from his bank account. He then traveled to Palermo. He checked into a hotel as he was supposed to board a ship to Naples the following day. He gave the alias Ettore Cataneo when he checked in. He told the hotel clerk that he would be staying for one night. The clerk told police Ettore seemed nervous and withdrawn. Then Ettore Majorana sent the following note to Antonio Corelli, the director of the Naples Physics Institute. Dear Corelli, I made a decision that has become unavoidable. There isn't a bit of selfishness in it, but I realize what trouble my sudden disappearance will cause you and the students. For this as well, I beg your forgiveness, but especially for betraying the trust, the sincere friendship, and the sympathy you gave me over the past months. I ask you to remember me to all those I learned to know and appreciate in your institute, especially Scuti. I will keep a fond memory of them all, at least until 11 p.m. tonight, possibly later too. There is another note that is attributed to Majorana. It's said to be for his family, but its authenticity is disputed. The other note read, Only one wish, do not wear black. If you must conform to custom, just wear some emblem of mourning, but not for more than three days. The note is said to have been found by Majorana's sister when she went to his room to check on him after he failed to show up for his boat trip to Naples. What happened after he wrote the note is inconclusive. All we know for sure is that he was never seen again after he left the hotel. It is unknown if Ettore left the hotel for good that night or the next morning. According to some sources, he checked out of the hotel. The hotel clerk said Majorana left the hotel on the morning of March 26, 1938. He said that Majorana was carrying a suitcase and a briefcase. However, according to other sources, he did not check out of the hotel and he simply left the night he checked in. His sister Maria was informed that Ettore did not arrive in Naples as expected. She went to his hotel that same day, and allegedly, his belongings were there but he was nowhere to be found. Maria had been concerned about her brother's behavior. She said that he had been acting strangely in the days leading up to his disappearance. He had been withdrawn and depressed. 
but he would not open up to her. So what exactly happened to Atore? The most compelling theories can be categorized into two main possibilities. Either he chose to vanish voluntarily, or external factors forced his disappearance. If he disappeared voluntarily, one of the most popular theories is that Majorana fled to Argentina, where he lived under a false identity. There is a witness who claimed to have seen Majorana in Buenos Aires in 1955. The witness saw Ettore Majorana in a restaurant. He was wearing a hat and sunglasses and was with a group of people. He was sure it was Majorana because of his distinctive eyes. This story has been disputed by other people who knew Majorana. They said the witness was prone to exaggeration. Another theory is that Atore went to Venezuela. It is said that he wrote and sent a letter from Venezuela in 1959, and it detailed that Majorana was alive and well and living in Venezuela. However, there is no way to verify the authenticity of this letter. One other theory is that Ettore Majorana may have joined a monastery. He was sensitive and intelligent, and he was deeply unsettled by the world around him. He was concerned about the rise of fascism, and he was also troubled by the violence and conflict that he saw in the world. He was a loner by nature, but he also craved a sense of community. He may have seen a monastery as a way to find a sense of belonging and purpose. There is no evidence to suggest that Majorana did actually join a monastery, however the possibility cannot be ruled out entirely. It is one of the many theories that have been proposed to explain his disappearance. Another theory is that he unalived himself. There is some evidence that supports this theory, like his mental health. He was known to be depressed and anxious. The note he left his family said he was going away, which also supports this theory. Additionally, Majorana's belongings were left behind in his hotel room, suggesting that he did not intend to come back. However, the lack of a body contradicts this theory. The main theory that falls under forced disappearance is that he was taken by a government or political organization. This theory is one of the more controversial ones, and there is some evidence to support this theory, but it is also inconclusive. His knowledge of nuclear physics could have possibly motivated a kidnapping. The Italian government was developing its own nuclear weapons program at the time, and they may have been afraid that Majorana would share his knowledge with other countries. Majorana was known for being opposed to the rise of fascism in Italy. The Italian government may have feared that he would defect to the Soviet Union or that he would use his knowledge to harm Italy. There is evidence that contradicts being kidnapped, mainly that there was no body and no witnesses. The disappearance of Ettore Majorana is one of the most intriguing mysteries in the history of science. Ultimately, the truth about his disappearance may never be known. Thank you for watching my video. If you'd like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe below.